I'm gonna start and play it slow maybe the first part I do it I, I'm gonna do it as I usually do sorry guys Forget I said that. So I'm gonna play that first part really slow. gonna be I think the pink is best and also you are 
already going from C chord. That's why the thinking feels more most natural for me anyway. this morning so I thought, thought I would do, do a little video on it and maybe now I should play the whole thing through maybe come a bit closer like so and play it even slower <laughs> smile like a fool but 
haven't played this tune in a while and it's really a nice tune. I really love it. So that's the lesson. Uh, and uh, if you do learn something that I teach, if you play the exact same arrangement uh, or whatever, I would love a hashtag on YouTube or Facebook so I can find it because I really like seeing my my students or whatever. I, I really like to see their progress. And, uh, there's a guy named, I can't pronounce his name, a Angelo from Belgium, I believe. And he's come a long way and he's been following me for quite uh, quite some time so I'm sure he's gonna have a blast with this one uh, so he needed a little kick in the butt so <laughs> now it's on the track again and playing so that's really nice and about the guitar I had it for a week I don't know I really like this one but the strings are dead I love the D18s but the strings are dead so I don't really like to play it. <laughs> um, so I'm waiting on some new gu guitar strings now. Uh, and then I'm gonna... <laughs> and I'm gonna play it with a new set of strings and I'm gonna show you how it sounds like. And I'm using Elixir strings, Postpar 1356. I always get questions every day about that and uh, I thought about making a video when I change one string I don't need to change all of them but how I do when I change the strings from this versus a slotted headstock if that's uh, something you want to see please let me know and uh, have a great time folks See you later guys and girls and whatnot.